to another episode of How to ABX. In today's episode, we are going with Universal Female Hero Burn Day. It is 9-2-2023. I'll talk briefly about my rotation, show you it in action, and give you additional information afterwards if you care to stick around. So, uh, we're going to be using Scarlet Witch today with a Rage. With Scarlet Witch, also known as Wanda Maximoff, you're basically going to spam all of her skills. The only one that you're not spamming is you're going to delay cancel the six. With it being Burn Day, you're going to be canceling with your one and four. So make sure your one and four are ready when you are at the Roar Timers. So without further ado, let me go ahead and show you this in action, and then I'll give you additional information like what team up I'm using and why and how my account is built. So again, just make sure you're using all the skills as quickly as possible. There's no order here. Anybody who tells you that there is an order for using Scarlet Witch's skills is lying to you. Uh, it is worth noting, you have to slam on the ground for six, as I'd mentioned, and three. If you delay three for a little bit so the shards start falling, you actually will do a little bit more damage as well. So it is okay to do like a fraction of a delay on three or use three last, but make sure you're focusing using the six as soon as possible. Roar timers are also important to note. Uh, when you're doing roars in the game and trying to cancel them, he is going to jump to the middle at 209 at the first roar. The second roar, depending on which season it is, is going to be at 116 or 126, and the final roar is at 38. If you've seen my other How to ABX videos, you've heard me say this a million times. So he's jumping center. As soon as he's targetable, there's one, there's four. The cancel's going to happen. But yeah, as soon as, soon as you can mash these skills, the better the more damage output you're going to have. And I just realized I did not mute my sound. I usually mute my sound when I do my How to ABX and How to ABL videos. So hopefully the sound quality is not too, too super loud and it's actually watchable. All right. Going to continue to slam on all these skills. Pretty straightforward. Not really much to say at this point. It's more about watching and just seeing an example. All right, we're at 132. I believe burn day, it's at about 126. He'll jump center. So I am going to save that one just in case. Uh, there's 124. He's jumping center. And then one, and then four, and the cancel will be. There is a long cancel window for the four. So using four a little bit early as soon as he's targetable is perfectly fine. And you can increase your skill overall. I'm sorry, not your skill. Your score can be increased overall if you avoid the meteor drops. Usually with characters that are spam characters like this, it's kind of hard to see what's going on, and it's also hard to move them in the middle of an animation. But if you do see those red circles that form and you avoid those, you can actually get a little bit more with your score. You'll see the meter evasion points. Right now it's at 100%. Getting hit by one of those meteors will drop that and actually decrease your score. All right, we're closing in on 38. My four should be ready in time, so I am using my one and not holding it. He is jumping center. Uh, as soon as he is targetable, I'm going to do a five, four, six, slam to ground, one, and there's the cancel. So we got all of our cancels in. I will say that although my Scarlet Witch has a decent build, there are people with better builds than their Scarlet Witch. So what you are seeing right now for score is not a very good representation of what she's capable of doing on a well-built Scarlet Witch. Uh, but we will go over her build, and we'll go over my cards so you can see why I'm scoring so low. Uh, she should be able to cap today. I know some people can, but you might have to have a pretty pretty flushed-out account with a lot of Odin's Blessings to do that. So 10.4 million is not the end of the world. It's it's on average for what I typically do with my account, but you got to remember, she is a Tier 3 character. So let me write this down since I always track my scores. 10,499,983. So 10,499,983. All right, let's talk about my account real quick, and we will talk about the team-up I have and alternative options for today as well. Really quick, if you've seen my other videos, go back and check them if you haven't. I'm just going to show my cards. If you want to read them in detail, please pause the screen. This is my overall uh, card and account. Your cards do affect your score, so it's important to know how to build your cards. The other one is x -Sword, so here's the x -Sword effects that my account has. Likewise, pause it if you want to read it. And now we'll go ahead and go into Scarlet Witch's build. So for Scarlet Witch's build, and she is a tier 3, so we got to dig a little bit here. Uh, she is tier 3, level 70. Here's her overall details. It is important, again, with your ABX, let me hide my face for just a second. So you can actually see what's going on here. Uh, it's important to get max cooldown and ignore defense for any character, but critical damage, critical rate, attack speed, dodge, and movement speed... Movement speed is not as critical, but I've got all these capped. 
all the rest of these gold scores are 100% critical, in my opinion, to maximize your damage output. You cannot cap on your attack. So I am sitting at 73,000 energy attack, which is not terrible, but you can definitely do better for sure. Uh, Skill-wise, I always crank out my skills. You, I have all amplifications going on with my Uru. I do not have a lot of Odin's Blessings. I only have two, and that does affect my overall score. If you're going to equip Urus, please make sure you use at least five-star Urus, especially if you're trying to push your AB, AB scores, period. I do have a Power of the Angry Hulk. As far as attack sets go with the ISOs, as long as it's one of the three attack sets, Power of the Anger Hulk, Overdrive, or Hawkeyes, you're usually in good shape. What you need and what you choose will be dependent on how your overall count is built with your cards and x -Sword. So keep that in mind. It's more important to look at the info and try to work on the stats that you need. Artifact, I have Order. I don't have it Amplified. I don't have a Custom Artifact. Custom Gear is a Rage. It's just a normal Rage. It's sitting at 0.9%. Uniform, you want to be using Marvel Studios Doctor Strange 2. And if you are curious on what the uniform options, in case you've not seen them before, the uniform options are as follows. Winter Soldier, Marvel Studios, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Jessica Jones, Jewel, Magic, Phoenix 5, Doctor Doom 3099, and Makari, Marvel Studios Eternals. Same thing with picking your uniform options. You have to look at that info. You want to look at focusing on those stats, like I said. Try to get them maxed out. You don't need to overcap them because once they hit the max stat, they cannot go over or go past that. Uh, energy doesn't cap, so pump up that energy as much as you can. So that's the overall of what my Scarlet Witch looks like, why I'm doing what I'm doing as far as scores. Let me show you the team up I chose, why I chose it, and alternate options for today. So going back to Alliance Battle and going to Challenge, I am using Scarlet Witch because she gives the leadership of 45% energy attack. I want to double support her, so I'm using Phylavel. Phylavel is not an exceptional support character. She is not worth an insight, but because you can use her today with Scarlet Witch, she is giving an increased all attack of 30% and an increased skill damage of 25% with a bonus damage of 15. That works for all universal types, and it applies to everyone on the team. The big winner here as far as supports goes is Angela. Angela is exceptionally powerful. Uh, so she actually has just the uniform thing. So none of these skills are going to show you what she can do. You have to go to her character, go to uniform. This is Ausgard's assassin. If you don't have this, don't use her. But if you do have this, her support potential is incredible. Superhero allies, which would apply to Scarlet Witch, increase damage dealt to supervillains by 40%. This is where her support comes in. So without the uniform, she's not a usable character for today. With the uniform, damage dealt is the best support skill in the game. It is damage that is amplified after it's done versus prior to resistances and breaking down damages. So all attack is good, damage dealt is better. She is absolutely 100% worth an insight. She is used with multiple teams on multiple days. So if you have an insight, she is someone I would consider giving an insight to. Alternates for today. If you don't have Angela, I actually like to use Thena's leadership because it's a little bit higher than Scarlet Witch's. So using Thena's leadership with the 50% increase over the 45, I think is advisable. So this is a reasonable team too without Angela, although having Angela is better. If you were going to run someone besides for Scarlet Witch, the next one on the list that I would recommend would be Thena. Thena with her Eternals uniform, Marvel Studios Eternals, and a Rage does do really well. You can also consider using Medusa if you have Inhumans versus X-Men, but she is subpar compared to the other two characters. Those are the only three characters I would consider running for today. Uh, the other thing to point out and note with Scarlet Witch, you could use this rotation, which is spamming, with a Rage, Judgment, or Anger proc, and I think they're that good in that order. Even though Judgment works really well, and it does work really well in ABX, if you have a Rage, I feel like Rage is a better option. So anyway, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. If you found this video helpful at all, consider leaving a comment below and putting a thumbs up. It helps the algorithm, and may your ABX score be as high as possible.